Welcome to Everyday Grapes, the channel that brings you wine for every day. Today we are looking at a topic that some of you may find a little bit tricky, but if you stick to a simple set of rules you can achieve great results. I'm talking about food and wine pairing. The most important rule is drink what you like. Drinking wine should be fun and enjoyable. And if that means that you would like to drink a special red wine with your fish, by all means continue to do so. However, if you're preparing a special meal and you have a few different bottles of wine lying around and you don't know which one to open, then this simple set of wine pairing rules might come in quite handy. Because food and wine pairing is such a wide field that can take easily a few hours to cover, I want to focus on just one dish in this video. In upcoming videos, we can then look at other food wine pairing combinations. But today, we're going to look at a real classic, steak. Of course, most of you will say, ha, that's easy, you drink red wine with steak. And while that is very true, it is still worthwhile looking at the reasons why red wine goes so well with steak and why some red wines go better with steak than others. To understand these reasons, we have to identify the two main features that steak literally brings to the table. Salt and fat. Let's start with salt. Salty dishes in general have a tendency to lower the effect of tannins contained in the wine. Now without getting too technical, tannins come from the skins of the grape and it's that stuff that causes this friction or rubbery feel when you move your tongue against the roof of your mouth. You can also feel it on the inside of your upper lip if you move it against your front teeth. Now, it's very easy to look like a complete idiot when you do this and for that reason alone I will not demonstrate it in this video. Tannins can also help to cleanse your palate from any protein molecules left by the steak. It may thus be a good idea to pick a red wine with a high tannin content to go with your steak. Now to the fat. Clearly, the fat content in steak varies depending on the meat and its preparation. However, there will always be some level of fat to deal with. Generally speaking, it is just nice to have a wine with a high level of acidity when you eat fatty or greasy food. The acidity in the wine helps to cut through the fat and cleanses your palate. Acidity in wine does not necessarily mean that the wine tastes sour. It means that there is a fresh counterbalance versus the heaviness that can come from the fruit or the alcohol. Usually you can feel the acidity as a tingling sensation on both sides of your tongue. Now that we know what happens if we eat salty or fatty food while you drink wine, the rest is easy. Because of the salt and the fat contained in steak, you want to pick a red wine that is high in tannins and high in acidity. In the old world, this could be a young Bordeaux, like this Saint-Emilion from Raitrose, which is currently offered at £8.99, or this Chianti that you can pick up from Odd Bins at £9.50. In the new world, this could be a Cabernet Sauvignon from Australia, like the Ringbolt, which I tasted in one of my earlier videos. Please see the link for this video below. This brings me to the end of the first part of our food and wine pairing series. I hope this video inspired you to do a little experimentation yourself with steak and wine. I would be curious to hear your experiences, which you can leave in the comments box below. That's it from Everyday Grapes, the channel that brings you wine for every day. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button. If you want to see more of upcoming videos, please subscribe. I hope to see you next time, stay safe and drink well.